So babe, my pedal's really, oh my God. Are you me? <laughs> what happened? I knew this bike was a piece of shit. <laughs> Your pedal just came babe, off? Babe, the screw is not there. <laughs> All right, today's kind of a big day for us. We uh, saw that there was a triathlon going on in Gilly T, which is about a 45 minute drive slash ferry ride away from here. So we decided last night, we're gonna load up the car, take an adventure to Gilly T, stay the night, do a triathlon, and then I get to head out to a boot to do another job, and then I'm gonna fly to Vegas to do two more jobs. So, man, what a weekend. This is stuff that really gets us going. Let's go! Public boat. Why the public boat? Because it costs a dollar, that's why. Next one's at 10.20. It's 9.45. Hopefully it'll be full and we'll just get on our way. Alright, so it looks like it's about 10 minutes away, so we better go. Alright, thank you so much. I'm so sorry. Thank you, thank you. Alright. So a rider forgot his little planes in the car and our driver drove all the way back to give us the planes. Just another example of the amazing people here. All right, let me go How many people there. we need? 40 people. 40 people. How many right. people we got? Now we have 20, 27. 27. 27. Uh-oh. 27. Uh -oh. 27 people. <laughs> we need 13 more people. But All right. it's very, very quick. Is it? Very yeah. quick. Okay. It's like maybe you wait like five minutes or something like that. Oh, good. Okay. All right, so I guess we need 40 people for the boat. We're about 26. Where are we at? It's like 27, 28, who knows. <laughs> I think we're so close. You just, just got to hang out here in the shade till, uh, till the boat's full, I guess. It's too heavy for you. All right, I guess we got 40 people. Time to vamanos. I don't want to walk in the water. Right, let's go, bud. Okay, we got Prince Ryder over here. Prince Ryder doesn't want to get his feet wet. I don't know, but I think the front might be the worst spot. That's why it's the only one left. Maybe, huh? I don't know. Screaming, Skyler started screaming. Once Sky, <laughs> Sky heard everybody else scream, then she was like, ah, it really is scary. Just gotta report that some more's coming. We see some white waves up here. Let's see what happens. Oh, Jesus. Time for some fun facts. Indonesia is the largest nation in Southeast Asia with over 17,000 islands and the fourth most populated country on earth. The only countries that have more population than Indonesia are China, India, and the United States. Bali is probably one of the most popular islands in Indonesia. Maybe because it's been a tourist destination since 1925, or maybe because it's close to Australia, or maybe because it's absolutely beautiful and crazy, or maybe it's because the people are amazing, or maybe it's just all that stuff wrapped into one. 
So like I said before, there are 17,000 islands in Indonesia and Bali is just one of them. So we decided to venture out a little bit and maybe see a couple Nick, more. We're, we're gonna go check out another spot over here, but Nick's decided she wanted to ride out on the pontoon. She's surfing guys, she's surfing. We flew from Bali to Lombok, which took about 25 minutes, cost us $17 a ticket. Once in Lombok, we got a villa for the month and decided to head over to the Gillies. There are three Gili Islands off Lombok and the word Gili means small island. The smallest of these three is called Gili Mino, which is super rustic and a basic island. Then there's Gili Air, which is quaint and a little bit more charming. And the biggest island of all is Gili T. It's funny because everybody that we tell about Gili T, the first thing they say is, oh, the party island which me and Sandy still don't really understand why, but maybe it's the fact that they sell magic mushrooms on the beach and wow, they are pretty amazing. But we'll probably have to save that one for another video. We made it. I feel like it's a reunion tour back on Gilly T. <laughs> oh, Last year we spent a week in Gilly T and a week in Gilly Air, and it sure is nice to be back. What'd you say? All right, I've got about 400 pounds of luggage on me, and Ryder wants me to carry them. Can we? I ain't as young as I used to be. I can't do it all by myself. Going. You're almost there. You can do it. What'd you say? Can we? Meet? Why? Why don't you like to walk? Why don't you like to walk? Gary. Why don't you like to walk? Gary. Gary. Come on, Ryan. Let's go, man. Yeah. Hi. Look at this lady carrying something on her head. I gotta carry you like a little baby. Gilly T, we made it! We made it. we made it to the Gillies. Yes. One of the coolest things about the Gillies is there's no motorized vehicles. So the only way to get around is horse-drawn carriages and bikes. Last year when we were in the Gillies, we took a horse and carriage to our room. This year we wanted to try something new, be a little bit more eco-friendly, maybe show some love to the horses, give them a little bit of a break, even though it means they don't make as much money. But the kids said something about it just didn't feel right, so we decided to hoof it on our own. Okay, I found the name of our hotel. So now we're gonna go it? there. Valenta Bungalow. Thank you guys, thank you. Have yeah. a good day, <laughs> see you next time. Yeah, horses, huh? there's such a charm here on the Gilly Islands. I don't know what it is. I do know what it is. <laughs> it's just very charming, very fun, very uh, exciting. Love it. Love the Gillies. We should be here more often. The horse had a pony too. It does like me. Everybody keeps asking where we're going. I have no idea. Just following my wife. That's what I do in life. I just follow Sandy. And she usually leads me to the right place. Uh, how do you remember us? If you want to take a horse and carriage, I think the lowest price that you can get is about 100 to 150,000 rupees, which is roughly seven to ten dollars. So funny, we used to go to this place right here last year, like three, four, five, six times, and uh, the guy as we're walking by goes, "Hey, I remember you guys. Welcome back." So crazy, man. So crazy. I'm looking at Gilly T, right? Are we lost? Because uh, I made a statement earlier how I follow you anywhere. Maybe it's not the right choice. Maybe I shouldn't follow her everywhere. Oh. Okay, so I booked a place. No, it's on Gilly T. When I looked at Google Maps though, it shows it's on Gilly Maino. Which is, which that, is the uh, next no island way. over there. All right, I think we're back on track. I think it's on this island. I hope it's on this island. All right, welcome to the festival zone. So usually when we do triathlons, we're on like thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollar bikes. And this is the, uh, the next version right here. So I'm excited to see how this goes. Here. Oh my god, I was about to hire a horse. I think today we tried to save a horse. I had like 90 pounds on my back. I don't know if I'm really into saving horses. My back is killing me. We are all sweaty and starving, and it wasn't even that long of a travel day. Alright, getting ready to check into our room. We got a coochie mat. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what awaits us. Welcome home! Oh, welcome home! We ended up staying at Balinta Bungalows. We got this place for about $37 a night. And it included breakfast on the beach for five people, an amazing fresh juice, and the staff was super, super nice. Although the rooms were a little bit hot until the sunset, but after that it wasn't too bad.
All right, so I think this is what it's all about. All this journey, this heartache, this trouble, this, it wasn't that bad. It was kind of fun getting over here. <laughs> but when you come over here and you see this beautiful blue water, crystal clear, man, this is just paradise, man. Temperature's perfect. What are we doing anywhere else? I feel amazing. So we're, so we're sitting here on the beach talking to our friend over here from uh, Dipasar and I come to find out we actually, uh, did an we, did, we know him, we did an event <laughs> together at Park Life and Changu. How crazy is that? How are you doing? Hi, Dad. This is so crazy. <laughs> so about three months ago, we were in Changu and we stumbled upon this place called Park Life, which is a really cool co-working space for parents who want to get work done and also let the kids play throughout the day. And we met Julius, AKA Magician Bali, in Changu, which is about five hours away from where we are now, three months later. He was absolutely amazing with the kids and Park Life is absolutely amazing for the kids. So if you get a chance, check both of them out. Wow, what a small world, huh? It's crazy. How crazy? 736,000 subscribers. Oh yeah, that's my channel. I got two channels. I'm Julius, Magician Bali. Yes. Kids are screaming turtle down here. Turtle, turtle, turtle. We gotta go see it. Oh, look at that. They got a turtle. How cool is that? I spotted him. I'm not trying to feed him. Huh? I'm not trying to feed him. Just enjoy him. Here he comes. Go slow so he can go to the shore and everybody else can see him. There he goes. All right, you dirt bags, time to do some push ups. Are we ready to rock this triathlon? <laughs> Muscles. I'm a vlogger. So, right now, we are in the pursuit of bicycles. We're getting ready to do a triathlon in two hours, and we need a bike. I don't think it matters what kind it is, I just think it matters. Is the it tires the chain will not around. fall off and the tires will be Look at this guy. I know, my God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good body. <laughs> but you need the mountain bike. Yeah, I'm not the third. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. wow. I will not wait. But I will have fun. <laughs> so that guy got third last year. Oh Sandy, Sandy, Sandy wanted to go get some laundry to do on his head. I just want to get a bike. Hey, we might have found some here, guys. Might have found some. How many bikes? Two. What do you think? Oh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, brakes or no? <laughs> Guys, what's going on? Oh. All right, babe, how was it? Oh man, we're getting there. You know, it's a little tiny bikes for uh, big people. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, so two bikes. You have to remember, so you can have seven dollars. bucks for two bikes. For you, sir. These two bikes cost more than a scooter. Two scooters. It's better than a scooter. And it's gonna be kind of funny because I feel like my pedals are gonna break off, but I just had to pick a bike. So hopefully my pedals don't break off. See me? <laughs> what happened? I knew this bike was a piece of shit. <laughs> Your pedal just came off. Hey, the screw is not there. Okay, bye bye. All right, bye. thank you. All right, the nerves are really starting to kick in. We've only got two hours till the race. We found the registration table and signed our name in blood. Just kidding. It was just a sharp Victory. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make it tight for you. Oh my God. They say we're supposed to start on a boat, so that's some new news. You have to jump off of the boat, swim along the shore, and then in. And for some reason, I'm nervous. You better get boat 30 on. Yeah. It just got me a little freaked out. <laughs> I'm not a super strong swimmer, not that that matters, but the boat is like, oh. I'm so excited to get a bike now I can. Yeah. Well, it's funny because these kids haven't rode a bike in about three or four months, and they've been dying to get back on bikes. So now that they're back on, it's kind of funny. <laughs> go, Mahir, go. Cool. Woo! I got a bike and my brakes work super good. I love my bike and my brakes work super good. Okay. Look at hers. I can't put it on. I'm so happy. Man, 
Hey Sky, we got a regular bike gang going on here. That's pretty cool, huh? All right, everybody's got their bikes and here's where things are gonna get a little bit interesting. This guy's blowing vape in a little kid's mouth over there. That's pretty cool. We are having such a great time filming and editing this video on Gilly T that we can't wait to show you the actual triathlon. And there, my friends, is the infamous Mushroom Shack. Might be visiting that later. But, as you can see right now, if you look in your timeline, we're about 15 minutes into the video. And I don't like to make videos too much longer than 15 to 17 minutes. And the triathlon itself could be a whole nother video. And if we put it all into one, this might be like a 30 minute video. Sup, bro? So, what do you think if we wrap this video up here real soon and make a whole nother video with the triathlon in it? You watched part one, now get ready for part two. Ladies and gentlemen, get your popcorn and bonbons ready. We're about to do another video. All right, we're halfway around the island. What do you think? Woo! Gonna make it? Great ride. So here's a few shots from the epic triathlon we did on Gilly T to spark your interest. So make sure you check it out, hit all the buttons, tell everyone about it, share it, thumbs up, subscribe, like, follow, all that fun stuff. And remember, you always gotta get out there and try something new. Have a great day, thanks for watching. The next one will be just as good, if not better than this one. Peace. I think the cat is out of the bag. Me? Ow. Let's play the clips from that in the airport and stuff. Yeah.